Okay, so let's get started. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome uh, to my session. Uh, uh, similar as last year and the year before, uh, I spent some time uh, here talking about uh, Suze Alp, uh, and uh, I would like uh, to update you about uh, what is new about this project and what you can expect uh, in uh, the coming uh, future. Uh, my name is uh, Jiří Schrein. I'm with uh, Suze since uh, more than 20 years. Uh, recent history as uh, release manager and uh, as architect for uh, the Suze Alp uh, initiative. Uh, I will here first talk a bit about uh, the history of the project, uh, then uh, how we are going uh, on with the development, uh, what is going on. Uh, I will talk about uh, the products uh, which uh, are already released, as you learned yesterday from Lubos talk, or uh, products which uh, are going to be released. Uh, uh, since we have some new people with Suze who are uh, working uh, on the project, uh, I would like uh, to introduce them here, uh, be especially because uh, some of them are uh, physically present here and uh, you can uh, talk to them in person. And uh, since, uh, unlike last year, uh, we are not hosting a roast session, I believe we will have uh, enough time uh, for Q&A. So how it started, uh, and uh, how it started at uh, the Open SUSE conference here two years ago. Uh, I believe, uh, or I hope that uh, some of you still remember when I had a talk uh, here shared uh, with Axel. Uh, he is here today. Yeah, hi Axel. Uh, <coughs> for me, uh, the big biggest uh, observation from already preparing this talk was that. Uh, the pain uh, expressed uh, by Axel for the open source community based on uh, the Leap product. It's pretty much the same as uh, we are trying, or were at that point of time already trying to solve uh, in SUSE. And uh, this showed that uh, there uh, is a chance for, uh, for I mean, do, doing the same for mutual, ben mutual benefits. The approach which uh, we were trying to take was simply to decouple what is the part of the base operating system and uh, what are the applications which you are trying to run on the operating system so that uh, you can uh, keep a rock solid, uh, rock solid uh, stable core of the system and uh, update your uh, desktop uh, to whatever is the bleeding edge or the other way around, uh, you may need the latest kernel for your hardware enablement, but all the runtime uh, you uh, need uh, to have stable environment. While uh, two years back uh, we were thinking that this would be the only way to uh, run, uh, run uh, the workloads on the new code base, uh, we realized that there is still a lot of uh, workloads which uh, need to keep running in the, in the traditional way. Uh, so that means that uh, we are not really focusing on running, on putting everything into containers or separating everything from the system, what is possible, but uh, we want to keep uh, it open for, uh, for applications which cannot be containerized really to run directly on uh, the operating system and benefit uh, from uh, all the updates compared uh, to, uh, to the SLE 15 code base. Uh, as I said, uh, the code name Alp, uh, I want to make it once clear what Alp is and what Alp is not. Uh, we started using uh, the adaptable Linux platform word or the Alp abbreviation to calling the code stream. Alp was never, never, never meant to be a product which, which would be that name. We, from uh, day zero, planned that there will be multiple products built uh, from, uh, from this code base. And uh, if Alp itself is part of the, code, of the name of the product or not, that was a minor topic. But there was never meant a top product which would uh, be called Alp or Adaptable Linux Platform. 
As uh, Lubos mentioned uh, yesterday, we recently internally renamed uh, the code stream of, from ALP to Suzelenus Framework 1. So again, do not get confused. If you hear about ALP and about Suzelenus Framework 1, it is the same. And uh, again, it is not a product. It is uh, the word we use uh, for, uh, for uh, the code stream. So, what has happened uh, recently in uh, this project, in uh, the development of the project? You, you, you probably noticed that we, as SUSE, released uh, publicly released uh, several prototypes uh, of uh, the platform, which in fact added a bit to the confusion about Alp possibly being a product. But uh, those really were demos, demos of uh, the new code base not only a product, uh, what probably caused some confusion as well is uh, that uh, we only, uh, only released uh, the transactional system variant of, uh, of the platform. Uh, as I talked uh, here already to uh, some of you, it, uh, the platform doesn't mean it's transactional only. We have both options. We can have product which is transactional, uh, like uh, Suze Linux Enterprise Micro or Leap Micro, or we can have uh, classic products uh, which uh, have normal read, write, root file system, and uh, you can keep operating them the same way with, as, as you do uh, with Leap. Uh, we started the development in uh, the open build service, built open Suze org, so that uh, we did as much as possible. We did all the development uh, really public. Uh, anybody could uh, look at our hands uh, while we were preparing the prototypes. And uh, what did the prototypes include? Uh, we inclu they included the base, base operating system. And uh, as uh, finding what can be successfully run in the container, it included uh, several subsystems or several workloads uh, for the demo purposes in containers. This way, we found out that, for example, you can even run FirewallD in container. You can, whether it makes sense, uh, is, of course, a uh, different topic. Yes, uh, the, what had to happen, unfortunately, was that we, while we would be really happy to do everything uh, completely in open, uh, we had uh, to move uh, the future development uh, into our internal infrastructure. Uh, we need uh, to uh, be able to get the product uh, certified. Uh, we need, uh, to, for compliance reasons, uh, to have uh, the infrastructure completely maintained by uh, the employees without uh, allowing anybody from uh, the outside uh, community. So because of that, uh, it was probably the only way uh, how we could proceed. Still, we are uh, committed to provide everything uh, out uh, of uh, SUSE and uh, uh, mirror uh, the binaries uh, as well as sources uh, which we use uh, for building the platform and uh, the products uh, to uh, hosts which are uh, available outside of uh, the SUSE internal network. One change which we are still somehow in the middle of implementing uh, internally is uh, storing uh, all sources uh, in a Git repository. Uh, what we hope uh, in the future is that uh, this will ease uh, the contribution for uh, pretty much everybody, because if you, if, you want to, if you are new and want to start contributing, you probably know how to use Git, but uh, there is chance uh, that you never heard about uh, the open build service. Okay, you probably have, but uh, if you are not living in the SUSE and open SUSE ecosystem, you might not have. Uh, we are using it internally to storing uh, the sources, uh, and uh, we will also be mirroring uh, the Git repositories uh, to uh, src.opensuse.org, which means they, as, as soon as we get uh, the code uh, into the code, code base, uh, it will be also available uh, for any of uh, any of uh, you or any of the, anybody from the OpenSUSE community. 
So let me have a look at uh, the products uh, which we already have. Uh, Lubos yesterday already mentioned uh, the release of uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro 6.0, which uh, is a new version of uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro. The previous version was 5.5, and uh, it is uh, new. It is the first uh, product, uh, first SUSE product which we built from uh, this uh, SLFO code base. Uh, I will talk about one interesting feature a bit later, but uh, there is uh, one thing which you might uh, have noted uh, as we developed the, developed the product. In the past, uh, we always first released the uh, SLES 15 uh, uh, service pack, uh, which was followed by uh, leap15.x, and uh, only based uh, from uh, this code base, uh, we uh, derived uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro. Now with this new code stream, uh, we have the code base from the beginning, uh, including everything that is needed for both traditional and transactional systems. So, and uh, we decided uh, to start really with the rather smaller product, and uh, Micro being uh, the first product uh, built uh, from, the, from, from the code base. And uh, as Lubos mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, the OpenSUSE project uh, released uh, the OpenSUSE counterpart of, of, of uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro, Enterprise Micro OpenSUSE Leap Micro 6.0. Uh, it is pretty much the same code, the same code base, uh, the same set of features, uh, uh, the, the same packages, uh, but uh, built uh, from uh, but uh, packaged uh, as uh, the open open uh, SUSE product. I would like to talk about one interesting feature which uh, we have with the new code base, uh, which is uh, full disk encryption. Uh, I guess you all know if you want to encry encrypt the disk, how it is annoying uh, that you always need to type uh, the password for uh, decryption of the device. Uh, you probably need to type it uh, several times, once for the bootloader, then for the kernel, because the kernel itself is already on the encrypted partition. Uh, with uh, using uh, the TPM chip uh, of, uh, of the system on uh, the x86-64 platform, uh, we can seal the encryption key, uh, encryption key in, uh, in the chip, which means that as long as uh, you don't remove the disk uh, from uh, the host and uh, try to read it elsewhere, you, get the decrypt you get, can get the decryption done automatically without uh, any of your interaction, which makes it usable for hosts uh, which are running somewhere in the data center that uh, you typically cannot go and enter the password uh, one by one for your server room. When the disk is moved uh, elsewhere uh, or removed from the machine, uh, you don't have access uh, to the encryption key, uh, so you can you only your only way uh, to decrypt and get access is, uh, is uh, to enter the password. So it's uh, a secure way to store the disk, uh, store uh, the data on uh, on your disk uh, without uh, without any hassle as long as your system is otherwise secured. Uh, this feature is uh, in uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro. It, it's in uh, Leap Micro. It will be available in our future products as well. Speaking about uh, our uh, future products, uh, which we plan on the platform, uh, obviously we are, we are planning uh, that SUSE, uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise uh, Server 16 uh, as the next, as the successor of the SLES 15 uh, products, we are currently planning it uh, in uh, the second half of uh, next year. So, second half of 2025. Uh, this product will, as the code base allow, not be transactional. So, you will, we will get a product, uh, the standard server for work, for workloads, which. Uh, for any reason you don't want or cannot uh, put into containers. Uh, we are currently 
uh, finalizing uh, the scope of the product, uh, which is matching what uh, Lubos was also saying yesterday, that uh, when building a leap on top of uh, this product, uh, you will, the community or the open source project will have a bit more freedom that you can put uh, some of the components uh, on uh, to the code base uh, uh, yourself instead of grabbing uh, what uh, we as uh, SUSE provide. Uh, you may ask uh, about our uh, desktop plans. Uh, currently, we do not plan uh, any successor of the SUSE Linux Enterprise desktop or other desktop products on uh, the Framework 1 code base. Uh, this, however, does not mean that uh, there will be no desktop available at all. Uh, we will have uh, s some limited desktop uh, available as, pa as part of uh, the Susanux Enterprise Server, but uh, as I said in the previous slide, uh, I unfortunately cannot tell you right now the exact scope of uh, how much of the desktop technologies uh, we, will, we will have in, uh, in uh, the in the product. And last but not least, uh, we are still investing into uh, containerizing stuff. Uh, we are continuing uh, on uh, the new platform with uh, the base container images, uh, SUSE BCI, and uh, we are planning to uh, expand uh, the list of uh, the available images uh, based on uh, what are uh, the needs of uh, our uh, users, customers, or even the community. And uh, with that, uh, I would like to introduce you some of the new faces uh, with uh, the team. Uh, not everybody is unfortunately here, but uh, some, of, some of them are, so I would like to say hello, and I have them here in the first uh, row. Uh, to Prokop Vlašin, who is uh, the release manager of uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro and uh, the container product. Uh, behind him, uh, we have Gustavo, who is uh, also a release manager, support, supporting Prokop and Libor more on the technical, technical front. And uh, unfortunately, Libor Mikšík, who will be uh, the release manager of uh, the SUSE Linux uh, Enterprise Server 16, is uh, not available here. Uh, all these guys, the release managers, are getting great uh, help uh, from uh, the release engineers. Uh, so we have uh, here uh, Giacomo Lady, and, uh, <clears throat> and Eugenio Paolo Antonio. And uh, in the background, uh, we also have some architects, so I guess uh, I don't need to, to introduce myself. Uh, Frederick, who is... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, equally, I think I don't need to introduce Richard as a distribution architect. He also introduced it himself uh, yesterday here on the stage, and uh, he will continue today. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have here Frederick Rosat and uh, Olaf Kirch. <laughs> okay. And uh, with that, uh, we have about uh, 10 minutes uh, left uh, for, uh, for your questions. So if you have any question, uh, please uh, grab the microphone and uh, and uh, ask. Not really a question, but uh, just, just one detail about features in between Slim Micro and Leap Micro. So Slim Micro has some components which are free. It's for anything for Rancher. And that one we do not have. That I would forever people to use Slim Micro. It's part of the, you know, as free, part of the Rancher offering. Otherwise, we have pretty much everything. Yeah. Yeah, but Lubos, on the other hand, nobody prevents anybody who is in the room uh, to build uh, the missing parts because all the sources, everything, all the binaries, everything uh, from Slim Micro is available for uh, for anybody. 
So, and it, it, it is the same. We built some uh, image. We built images with uh, specific content. Uh, but if you, for your use case, uh, need to include in the image something uh, additional or remove uh, something that is, uh, that is there, but for your use case it's not necessary, uh, you can always build your own image and uh, use this one. Any other question? Come on, last year you managed to fill an hour with, with questions. Okay, thank you, Lubos. I, I hope that somebody will eventually uh, step, step up. Uh, so, we had some complaints about lack of traditional installer for micro. I personally use self-install. So I'm not a use case, but I know that some do, and we have this amazing new installer, and it can install microOS, so why don't we use that for these people who you know, really uh, want installer? As for, I, I do not have direct data from talking to customer, but uh, the information I got was that uh, the customers who are using uh, Slee Micro, the older versions, they most of them really deploy the images. They do not use uh, the installer. You are right that we have uh, the self-installer self -install from Kiwi, which is uh, pretty much the, the image uh, and the DD wrapped in an ISO. So it's not really a fully featured installer. Uh, the Agama installer is uh, currently under development. Uh, I'm not saying that we never, we never uh, include it uh, in uh, micro, uh, but r at the moment I'm not aware of uh, any plan or any requirements uh, to uh, ship uh, Slee Micro 6.0 as uh, insta installable ISO other than uh, the Kiwi self-installer. On the other hand, you are right that uh, we are still lacking uh, some specific uh, uh, use cases uh, for, for like installing to a network storage, which you need to, uh, to activate first. Uh, the Kiwi Self Installer is very easy, li simple, limited uh, in the functionality. Uh, but uh, as I said, I'm not aware of uh, really specific uh, use case which uh, or specific customer requests asking for uh, asking for. Uh, uh, the classic, classic ISO installer. So if there are no more questions, uh, then we can finish now. If, you, if any question crosses your mind uh, during, uh, late, during the, this morning, this afternoon, Unfortunately, I myself are leaving uh, today afternoon. Uh, you can uh, reach out to me, ask uh, over lunch or whenever you find me. Uh, you can also uh, talk uh, to the guys uh, which I introduce you uh, right now. And uh, otherwise, I guess, see you about your future updates on uh, the Suze Alp uh, next year. Okay, so. Thank you.